As you're building your applications in Adobe Flash Builder or Adobe Flex Builder, you constantly have to test the code and go through and perform various functions whilst you're doing that. For example, I have here a very simple application that has a couple of labels and some boxes and it could be say a login form for example where the user is going to use this text entry field here to put their username in and their password and hit the login button. Well as you're going through and testing the code you don't want to have to sit there filling them in all the time because even if it saves you a few seconds here and there that can build up over the, the period of a project. So we have this thing that we call conditional compiles and what we can do is in the properties of the compiler we can actually fill in these details automatically as we're testing and I'm gonna go over here to the source code view and show you basically what I have is this application has two label components the two text input components and a button component and I've also gone through and I do this pretty much with all of my applications I have a creation complete event here on the application which just calls an init function which as you can see at the moment is empty. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to paste some code in and then I'll explain to you what it does. So what we have here is this code that I have highlighted I've pasted in and it's going to look a little strange if you haven't seen it before but I'll explain what it does. We have this config and then testing and we have basically all of this code does is very similar to a function is you can see that the text username is the ID for the text input field down here and the same for password and I'm just filling in the text of those two input boxes with some strings that I have here my username and my password what this line of code here relates to is something in the flash builder or flex builder compiler and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up the properties and I will show you where that works so what we're going to do is we'll go up to project and properties and if you look on the flex compiler tab here you have these additional compiler arguments and at the moment it just sets the default which is basically locale to English US here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the space bar and I'm going to paste a line of code in here and I'll explain what it does. So what we're doing is we're defining and, and let me move this across here so you can relate it to this, these names here. We're defining this config testing which is this one here config testing to true. Now what that means is when the flex compiler goes through and compiles the code it's going to include these lines of code between the curly braces. If we were to set it to false for example if we had false here when it compiles it's actually going to skip over and this code here in between the curly braces won't be compiled into the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it set to false and I'm going to go OK and now I'm just going to debug the application and you can see that we have our empty text boxes there you know you can put in anything you want and you hit the button so let's go back now like I said you know you can use this in so many scenarios for example a lot of the time I'll use a local URL for a testing server and I'll want to replace that on a web service call with the real server when I do the release compile so this is another way you can do this basically any code that you put between these curly braces will be included in the application when it's set to true and won't be included when it's set to false so what we're going to do now I'll go up to project properties I'm going to change this false here back to true and click OK and now when I run it again the compiler is going to include these lines of code and in this case when it calls the init function what's going to happen is it's now going to execute these two lines of code and it'll set the text to my username and my password so I'll just hit the run debug there and there you go so you can see it's filled in these boxes for us and all I would have to do now is if I'm just testing or developing code I can just hit the login button and I don't have to fill those two input fields in every time I'll just quit that and just to show that you know you're not restricted to this here you can use any format you like you can even have multiple blocks so I'm actually gonna copy this block here and I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna give it a different name it needs to have a different name of course just like functions so I'm gonna call it remote testing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to my username remote and my password remote just so we can tell the difference here now of course because we have this remote testing we have to include it if because if, what I have to do here is if I save this you're gonna see it says there's an error and the reason being if we go to our problems 
there's an undefined property. Well, basically what it's saying is, if we go up into the project properties, we have to go in and we have to put in arguments for each of these setups here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, I'm going to copy, hit space and paste it. And in this case, I'm going to change the second one. The name needs to be changed to match, so it can be remote testing. And, we'll, and it's set to true. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set the previous one. I'm going to go in here and set testing to false. So what we're saying is I don't want to execute this first block of code, but I do want to execute this second block. I'll go OK. I'll run it again. And so now you can see it's using the second block of code, my username remote and my password remote. I'll just quit that. So you can have as many blocks of code in here as you want to include. Um, you know, various situations like I say, local testing, remote testing, server names, all those kind of things. It just saves some time and you don't have to keep going in and you know changing code and hopefully it'll just improve your workflow. So give them a go, look it up on the Adobe side. There's lots of compile options if you want to play with some of the others, but this is just a nice one for automatically filling in content if you need to while you're testing.